All right, it's Sunday. It'd be nice to be chilling, not doing much, but we got a lot of stuff to do today to get ready for fall and also keep the summer stuff going. What we got to do today? I don't even know. There's so much. I know, there is. <laughs> Definitely transplanting squash and melons and a bunch of other stuff. Starting to uh, try some microgreens. They're about ready. This weed right here is edible. It's called wood sorrel. You want to eat some wood sorrel with me? Sure. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> it's like sour, but... It's sour, it's good. Okay, we got a lot of transplanting. Wait, let's see. We got a lot of transplanting. We gotta flip some beds. We gotta move a bunch of compost. Uh, I'm gonna prune the tomatoes if we get the time. If not, I can do it tomorrow. We got the weed mat down for the squash. We gotta cut holes in it every foot. And then we'll plant the squash with a soil amendment cover with insect netting until it's flowers. Okay, this is the tape measure so we know that's every foot. Sod staple and that's how everything is, is exact. Now when we cut the holes in here, ideally you would cut these with a, or you would burn them with a template like on the concrete or something, but we don't have time to make a template and burn it and all that stuff. Too much field work, so. We just cut it by hand with little razor blades. Yeah, set that tape measure up off to the side so you can put your, well, this is what we're gonna do. This pot. Every foot and cut around it. Okay, this is the base of the soil amendment here. Miramichi green. Carbon HPN. This is basically just um, compost and biochar. I did an entire video about how this stuff works, what we put with it, why we put that with it, and also um, all about the soil test. So I know what the soil is there. I've already amended it, so I'm just doing the amendment for the plant. Basically, every one we put in, we'll have the wheelbarrow there, just a handful with each plant. It makes a big difference. There's the amendments, like I said, that other video. I'll leave a link in the description that explains everything about it. Now I'm gonna put some of the compost we use on the beds in the wheelbarrow to mix it in. All right, you wanna get it wet and then mix everything together. See that? Now it's ready to go. And what we'll be planting? Uh, I have watermelon and cantaloupe that I'm gonna do first, and then a mixture of spaghetti, butternut, candy roaster, and sweet dumpling. So I go ahead and ahead of Tori and cut these out with the knife around the pot. It's just then she comes back and finishes cutting it and then amends and plants. And then um, when I'm done, I'll come back and we'll tag team the planting together. All right, this is the last one. So you just center it with the foot you're on. Super safe using the little razor blade. They get all pretty fast, but yeah. Um, this is what you gotta do when you don't plan ahead and make a template to burn holes in it. So prepping the holes right now. So my hands, handful, handful. Mm. 
Now Tori just has to plant and we'll be good. All right, all these plants are in. So now it's time to hand water them, clean up around here, get the um, hoops down, and then get the insect netting over it. All right, Tori's watering now. We're gonna water them really heavy because it's still like heat index in the 90s every day. And we keep missing thunderstorms. So annoying. Wheelbarrow camera was a total fail. All right, getting ready to plant this next bed here with the compost. I'm gonna put the amendments on and then get the BCS out. Time to shallow till the amendments into the bed. potting up some tomatoes and probably gonna start planting her seed in this bed. Fresh. Getting ready to transplant here. I forgot some of the spacing and stuff and this is the Bible right here. This is from uh, JM's master class. So every single crop they do print it out all the technical sheets and then when it's like now we have a bunch of stuff to do today and I'm like uh oh what, what is that spacing again or anything really it's all laid level uh it's all laid out in there um yeah that's one thing we do we spend about a thousand dollars a year on education and we got into this class when it opened huge made a huge difference it's um it's well worth the money i think especially if you're going to do it to make money or if you're just trying to learn things to grow most of your own food like that class paid for itself in no time and it continues to pay for itself and will be for a long time because it's a lifetime class. This is going to be a random bed, bok choy, fennel, green onions, um, I think that's it. Yeah, a bunch of random stuff that we really want to see how it sells before we grow more of it. Alright, that bed's done. Tori's watering it now. There's fennel, a um, bunch of onions bok choy and kohlrabi. We gotta cover that bed with insect netting too because the bok choy and uh, kohlrabi will get destroyed. Alright, insect netting's on. While Tori was finishing watering I went into this pot and mowed down a crappy beet bed that's just done. And we're gonna put the silage tarps over that and then um, I got the hoss wheel hoe out here. I'm about to flip this bed so we can seed it. This is what happens when you put insect netting down and kind of forget about something for a while. <laughs> yeah, keeping it real. So I have, the way to deal with this issue is to either tarp it or we're trying to seed stuff today to have things ready in time. So I'm gonna use the wheel hoe, which will knock this out in like no time, rake out the material, maybe flame weed what's left if I need to, and then um, put compost on it and seed it.
that makes for an easy bed flip. Super easy. Like, that probably took like four minutes. So now, to get compost on it, spread the compost, the amendments, and then direct seed it. Okay, so I'm gonna seed some lettuce mix. I have an all-star mix from Johnny Seeds, and I'm gonna seed it at seven rows with half-inch spacing. We use the Jang seeder. According to the chart on the Jang, I need to have the nine gear, in, number nine gear in the back and number 14 in the front. So I'm gonna change that. And it looks like it's already at the number nine gear in the back, number 14 in the front. So I don't need to change anything there. I'm using the lettuce roller, which is this 24 hole roller. It's got a little like plus sign kind of on it. Um, and that's gonna seed my lettuce seeds. And now I'm gonna seed at seven rows. So it's important to us that we have the rows really straight um, because otherwise it becomes pretty hard to cultivate because you're trying to weave in and out of rows. So the straighter we can get it, the better. All right, we just ate lunch, edited most of this video. Tori did some computer work that we needed to get done like really bad because I suck at doing that. And um, we're gonna come out here, we're gonna seed this bed with beets. Uh, take that Swiss chard out, same method as the wheel hoe method, and then put a bunch of compost on it, amendments, and seed the rest of it with beets. We're also going to start some more seeds, get more fall crops going, and then after that probably do some more computer work, get these things organized, and um, yeah. These peppers are going crazy right now. They're real happy. Uh, some of these shishitos here. These are really good. Justin asked us to make some videos for his member area, and there's going to be a free um, video showing. There's a video from us, um, Mike Dixon, the Fit Farmer, the Hollers from the Holler Homestead, Al Lumna, and Jason from So The Land. So it's really just kind of like more in-depth videos of things that won't really perform well on YouTube is kind of the way that I would put it um, from my understanding of it. And uh, yeah, a lot of information. So uh, check out the, the free event. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, I hope you guys get something out of it. It's, it's insane how many, you know, actually I was like, all right, how do I make this video? Um, so many different things to talk about and then so much into each category and so much into each idea or thought or action. It's insane. So check it out. I hope you all get something from it.